Following orders by Internal Affairs Minister General Kahinda Otafire tasking the Uganda police to investigate the opposition leaders that exposed President Museveni's government as they paraded torture victims at the Human Rights Conference in Kenya, insisting these were border border crashes, uh, the opposition has equally hit back. We should investigate those who did this, this kind of thing and bring them to, to, to account. How do you take people who were locked by fell down on their border borders and you go parade them before international press and say these were torture victims, tortured by the police, I don't know, by CMI, I don't know. No. He was in the same statement saying those you policemen who are torturing people are going to arrest you. So what is Otafire's problem? Is it because they presented the wrong victims but the victims are there? But clearly it looks like he was just a bit excited because I thought out of that excitement he would then push to make sure the perpetrators of these injustices of people who are being brutalized and so on, torture chambers are brought to book. But I guess it was just talk, 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 you know. Now, NUP spokesperson Horrible Joel Senyonyi and uh, Chiro Municipality Member of Parliament Horrible Semu Junganda insisted that no equitable or favorable ground has been laid for an interface between the government and their call to bring human rights violators to book, forcing them to run to the neighboring Kenya. Well, the reason we held it in Kenya is because we can't hold such an activity here in Uganda. You know, they would never allow it here because, one, they don't like for us to come together and especially when we are going to talk about critical things that express the regime like the brutality of this regime so we held it next door interestingly we were hosted by the Kenya Human Rights Commission it's, it's, it's absurd when you make that comparison well they insist that government should act quickly given the past history of overwhelming evidence and furthermore horrible Semu Junganda said it's high time government started a conversation on a peaceful transfer of power. Government started a conversation on peaceful transfer of power. Let government arrest those who have beaten people and have shot them dead. Mr. Term 7, during elections, he said some of the people had been killed by a stray bullet. He actually offered to compensate, if you remember. I am not sure they have compensated anyone. Now, in a phone call interview with Ambassador Edith Sempala, the Alliance for Transformation coordinator, insists no amount of threats are about to quell this war given government's low political will. It depends on their will to do the right thing. And no amount of threat, no amount of anything can stop a people who are oppressed from resisting. Now, the opposition strongly maintains that government has no point whatsoever censuring their quest for human rights violation justice. They say that for as long as they do not heed to their request, they still stand tall on their mission to expose the evils of this President Museveni's regime. <laughs> Well, there you go. That is the latest update coming from the opposition right here on the Buzz UG. In case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.